So, now that we know how to make our friend Kyle here do all the grunt work for us, let's see how we can kind of use and abuse that to uh, make them work even harder. Now, we have this fill here, which is a very, very busy fill. And it sounds like this. Okay, kind of cool. Um, however, what if we wanted even more variation, maybe some different sounds without having to go through and pick different kits and this and that? Well, there is a very clever way of doing that. So let's generate a, a lighter fill, right? So just a couple of hits on it. Now I'm gonna go up to my SoCal track here, which is the drummer one. And you'll notice that uh, our little gray button here that's usually lit up for duplicating the track with duplicate settings, uh, that does not apply to drummer tracks, unfortunately. So we have to create a new one from scratch. So I'm gonna create a new drummer track and what the heck, we're gonna do some R&B, some smooth R&B. Now we got <laughs> slow jam here with uh, Rose, our drummer. Sure, let's do that. We'll do a kind of preset track here. I'm gonna turn all these off again as we uh, found out from our last video. And now Rose is generating some other fills for us here. So if we listen now to the combination of the two, let's just let's just do that in solo. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna command select the uh, shift. Oops, that did not do what I wanted it to do. I wanna do shift select on there. There we go. And we'll just listen to the last two bars. Okay. So now Rose is providing this and SoCal is doing the snares. Okay, so this is how you can get some varied textures in your drum fills is by simply just throwing another drummer on there and making sure they aren't all going bananas all the time. I mean, if you have, if you have them both creating really, really busy fills, of course, it's gonna sound well, like you've got an octopus for a drummer, uh, but it's also, going to stand out a little bit more if you leave space for all your uh, instruments and all the, all the notes here. So you can see here that Rose hits it. There's a couple that happen at the same time there. For the most part, it's a very nice sounding fill and you never know that it's generated by two different kits. Then of course you can go tweak to taste like this one. Okay, and we'd never know the difference. So there you have it, a very quick and dirty way of getting your drum fills to contain multiple kits without having to muck around too much with the internals of the drummer.